I'm not really the biggest fan of battle axes in Valheim. Despite being absolutely gorgeous, unlike me, and badass, also not me, I think battle axes simply aren't the best handling weapons, and I've barely used them. But I want to remedy that. I took the crystal battle axe into the Mistlands and did some seeker hunting a while ago, and it wasn't a complete failure, but I basically just learned what I already knew. Battle axes are super slow and unwieldy and probably don't deserve much of a place in a digital Vikings arsenal outside of the homestead as a display. But I think their extreme level of badassery warrants another look. So let's take the iron battle axe out into the swamps and do some hunting. Maybe we can learn something and the weapon will surprise me. Or maybe not, and we'll just reinforce the current status quo. Either way, it should be fun. Let's do this. I know this is not gonna be a very scientific test. That's not the intent of this video. Really, it's just a play around with the Iron Battle Axe to better understand the mechanics and just get a better feel of these weapons in Valheim. If I wanted to make it more scientific, I probably wouldn't have fully upgraded it to level four, and the iron armor that I did put on is pretty much just for show because I think it's also fully upgraded and I am using uh, late game foods. Yeah, again, not scientific. This is just me playing around with the iron battle axe and I just, I, I kind of am starting to like how it swings. Yeah, it is slow and I start right here using the, the poke, the middle mouse click or the secondary attack. It's a good poke and it's a good fast way to do some damage. And with the stats as they currently are, I'm able to do a lot of damage with even just the poke right there and it staggers some enemies but when i do decide to break out the big old giant swing while it does use a massive amount of stamina it's a very effective swing and it has a very wide sweep and yeah it's a it's a very difficult balance with stamina with these fights right here but i do manage and it's beginning to feel pretty fun. This two-star skeleton right here normally would have been a little bit of a trouble, especially since my stamina level is at zero. But again, I'm just OP in this particular section. You're kind of supposed to go through the swamp a little bit, just intimidated constantly because you're still wearing your bronze armor or maybe level one iron armor because you, you need to gather more iron. It's, it's always tough, but obviously I'm OP right here. So I'm able to pretty effortlessly slash all these skeletons all these Draugr with no no troubles but it's it's pretty fun feeling OP I'm not the kind of gamer who likes Dark Souls style games where it's just constant misery and dying I like getting off work after a 12-hour shift and slaying a Draugr just like that like an executioner it's satisfying I just don't like the frustration of games that are just constantly dying and having to go back and gather more gear this game right here Valheim does a great job at the, a good progression you slowly gain your your better gear and you get better and better with the techniques and the mechanics of weapons and your armor gets better this this game has a good technique it's not absolutely punishing Speaking of punishing, <laughs> we have an abomination right here, and yeah, I'm OP with this thing, but my, my first abomination that I ever found was with my original playthrough with my friend, and good lord, it was completely unexpected. We did not expect to see it randomly. It just popped out from the ground while we were, you know, uh, about back to our boat, and it was a death. It was a death on both of our parts, because it we just we did not have a good time with that thing, and yeah... This one was easy though, so let's move on to the next clip. We've got another spawning section over here, and I skillfully dodged that skeleton zero. Yeah, that was totally skill. <laughs> Draugr parried, and a couple good slashes. These guys are down. And yeah, the battle axe is a, a pretty a pretty decent weapon. It is very slow. It's a stamina hog. I think it might be the most hogging weapon in the game for stamina. That's the technical term, right? Uh, I think it might use the most amount of stamina. I really don't know, and I don't want to take the time to look it up, but it feels to me like the battle axe uses the most stamina, it uses it more than at gears. So if you are the kind of person who likes doing a two stamina food, 
then this might be a, a good weapon for you. If you like two-handed weapons, you like, you know, the, the big old wide sweep of certain weapons, and you're okay with something slow and unwieldy, and, you know, practically always having no stamina, this is okay. It's, it's, it's kind of fun. It's a really fun weapon to play around with, and this is a, a good way to just get familiar with the unfamiliar learn something new and just play around with something that I haven't spent too much time with. You know, you're not really constantly fighting off uh, enemies that are definitely going to kill you. You're, you're fighting off enemies that are going to do a decent amount of damage here and there, but you're not really at that big of a risk for dying. Now, if you were to take this weapon into the planes, even fully upgraded, that would be a much bigger trouble because, yeah, it'll do some decent damage, but fuelings love to surround their enemies. And if you happen to walk too close to a village, you're going to have a bad time. You're going to have 30,000 fuelings following you all at once. And this thing is so slow that I find it, I think it'll be very, very difficult to actually deal with. Even if you put on fully upgraded or I guess level two right now, carapace armor, then that you know you'll take a little bit less damage but it's it's just you're not going to deal enough damage to really uh, thrive in in the planes i'd say now that i'm talking about that maybe i should actually go and do that maybe that'd be fun i've got all the clips from the swamp all edited out and now i'm just doing the commentary maybe maybe i should add that to the end you know what? I think I will. I'll probably put on some carapace armor and I'll break out a fully upgraded iron battle axe and we'll tackle a fueling village. That's going to be a terrible idea. So stay tuned in the last bit of this episode for that. But as you can see, we've got a little bit of chaos going on right here. A whole bunch of stuff happened all at once and it's it's kind of a struggle because I'm poisoned even though yeah, I did take that poison resist potion. Uh, I've got just the no stamina makes things a, a big trouble and all these enemies are vying for my blood. We've got a potion that I took. Yeah, that was great. Took that adult juice and now I just kind of kiting them around these rocks. I got to take out this bone pile. Yeah, so in this video, we do have just a little bit of chaos and it's it's kind of fun because it's it's just a weapon that I'm, I'm just so unfamiliar with. And I feel like I've, I feel like I've hit these rocks so many times now that the edge of this battle axe it has to be dull, right? It has to have like curled over, and it's basically a blunt weapon at this point. Should we have to sharpen our weapons in Valheim? Probably not. I don't know. But let's kill this last skeleton with the evil bone pile, and we will move on. We've got a blob right here. Actually, an oozer. Just kidding. Uh, these these turn into blobs. And one swipe, two swipe, three swipe. You're definitely still not out. Yeah. These things are pretty beefy. They actually take quite a bit of effort. But these two guys, not so much. One little swipe, and the two blobs after the oozer are done for. Sterlings right here are just no trouble. They they practically are they're squishy enemies. They they don't really have much health. I don't, I don't think. So yeah, one one big old swipe, they're done. Is that 36 damage? Yeah, they're practically just nothing. I tried to sneak up on this oozer and blunt the edge a little bit more on the black marble over there, but this one, you know, it dies. Yeah, and it splits, and you know, one and two, you're done. Let's move on. At this point in recording, I was really just, you know, I was kind of having fun and basically slaying enemies is satisfying and I like how wide the sweep is for this weapon. It seems to have a pretty wide hitbox and even if an enemy is maybe to your three o'clock, it seems to hit them pretty decently and that third swipe is just so powerful. So I'm, I'm not hating battle axes at this point because I'm OP, I'm having fun, I'm enjoying it. It's a good experience, even though it's super slow. And yeah, that's it. So I went back to the arena and I decided I didn't find enough abominations in the actual swamps. So I spawned one in the arena and I didn't realize it would just turn out to be a stump. So I circled it, expecting it to pop up. So then one hit actually activated it and yeah, I took off some health, but yeah, this thing in the arena, it made the arena feel quite a bit smaller than I figured, but yeah, hitting the hitting the the bottom right there is tough, and even with the length of the battle axe, it was having trouble actually hitting it. So I watched its attacks, I parried it, and well, I kind of parried it. I tried to parry it there, and it I think it worked. Yeah, we're doing good work. We're actually hitting the leg this time. That's where you kind of need to hit. It just makes more sense because it's closer. But that was a fun fight. Those are just always so much fun now that I'm actually more familiar with them. But now we can move on 
to the plains. Yes, indeed, I did go back after recording that previous commentary. I went out, I took the iron battle axe out into the plains, and let's just say this was a lot of fun. I've got three fuelings surrounding me, and it's not too bad because the battle axe does some pretty decent work on them. And that wide sweep, I know I've said it before, it's just really handy with these guys because they are not that big of a challenge when you have a weapon. <laughs> I did, uh, unabashedly, I will say that I did just, you know, take out the... The, the shaman because I don't I just don't want to deal with them. This isn't about the shaman. I just I was not gonna have that chaos happen. So I just took him out with the arbalest. But yeah, the wide sweep on the battle axe is nice when you have fuelings around you because it'll hit things even, I don't know, maybe three o'clock, maybe even four o'clock or I guess eight and nine o'clock if you're on the left side. Yeah, it's just interesting. And so we have a berserker right here. And this is when I realized that, yeah, this is probably not the best weapon for this biome. In fact, I know it isn't. It's unable to parry the berserker right here. So I give it a, a couple good shots. I try really hard, but it just doesn't seem to have the ability to parry any of these uh, fueling berserkers blows and that's well let's just say that blows so yeah I, again this is a third attempt i thought maybe i missed the timing maybe i'm just doing something wrong so i'm able to kind of dark souls this guy i'm dodging and that's really all i can do get one or two hits in maybe two and yeah this guy just it's rough this this battle is is tough because i have to dodge and i just it takes a while so i do edit through it a little bit it's rough. It is not a fun battle, and <laughs> I take a lot of damage. And I thought for sure I got out of that guy's range right there, but no, that's that's a big ol' swipe. <laughs> yeah, uh, I thought I was out of the range. I was not, so I died. I got my gear back though, and we're back at it. This berserker, its its fate is sealed because now it's at like I don't know one fifth health. We're back with the vengeance. We're back with the iron battle axe. And yeah, I know it's going to be a repeat of the previous time. It's not going to suddenly be able to parry attacks. No, it's just not going to happen. So I try to just do as much damage as possible to this thing while dodging its attacks. You know, the whole timing thing. But with one more swipe, it dies. And I just stare at its corpse. <laughs> Walking around the village a little bit and we got a couple fuelings deciding to poke their heads out. And yeah, I give them a good poke as well with a battle axe. <laughs> it's pretty satisfying. Fuelings are not too difficult. This this thing does a decent amount of damage to regular fuelings. It staggers them pretty effortlessly. I'm able to use it to parry no problem. But yeah, we've got a shaman. Despite my best arbalest efforts, we still have a shaman in the village and it is attacking me. So I, I just run up. I break out the battle axe and a good poke does not take down its shield. This one, hey, get out of here. A couple wild swings go right over its head. One big swing, its shield is down, and then with just a couple swings, it's dead. Now we can focus on just the regular fueling right here, and I decide to kind of play with this one. And I had fun editing this little bit right here, just to poke. I feel like I'm just grieving this guy, so it's... <laughs> and this one right here, I wanted a repeat of the previous experience. No, I'm just, I'm just poking at it. It, it staggered every time. I don't know why. It's just so much fun. <laughs> uh, it was probably really frustrated at that point. And I don't know. I missed that Duskito right there. <laughs> yeah, it staggers me right there. I, yeah, it's pretty fun. But I get a good poke right in its Duskito face, and it's dead. Another Berserker right here. And yeah update it's a repeat of the previous berserker experience and indeed no magic happened thor did not bless me i try again and a parry still doesn't work i don't know why i expected a different result that is the definition of insanity or something like that but yeah it's it's a rough battle and i'm just having to do a good old-fashioned dodge try to gain some health back and it's just it's rough it's backing me up nicely, even though I get a couple pokes in. Uh, one little dodge right there almost sends me right into the butt of a lox, and we have a Deathskeeto following me now. And as you can maybe hear, yeah, it's not just one Deathskeeto. So this is getting to be, once again, quite the little bit of classic Waffles chaos. I was able to take out one Deathskeeto, and now this lock somehow doesn't see me, but the, the Berserker, it hits me, and I need to retreat. I need to find some safe ground, but these Deathskeetos, and I know I said it, they're not that big of a trouble. However, yeah. 
I spoke too soon. So, Naked Rescue Mission, we're back, and I brought a new toy. I know, this is kind of a video about the Iron Battle Axe, but it's less about the Iron Battle Axe and more about just a regular revisit of Battle Axes in general. Or Battle Axen? Battle Axes? Yeah, it's Battle Axes, not Battle Axen. Not like Oxen. So, the Fueling Berserker roars, I roar back, even though it doesn't produce a sound, and now I have the ability to parry the Berserkers. This is a weapon that's a mountain tier weapon in the plains. It's a much more formidable weapon to handle the plains. So suddenly, I feel not OP, but... PP, properly prepared. Well, <laughs> that's, I'm gonna leave that in there. I'm not gonna edit that out. People totally say that, right? Anyway, the Crystal Battle Axe is able to actually do some decent damage here. And despite, you know, my lack of abilities with the whole game thing, I still kind of suck and I still have trouble swinging this weapon. But I will say a little bit of that can be attributed to this little knoll, this, this you know, weird terrain. It makes it so that the battle axes don't swing properly. It kind of goes over their heads sometimes. I take a lingering stamina potion. Those things are really nice, and I need to remember to bring those more often. But yeah, poke this guy a couple more times. <laughs> a little bit of griefing right here. Yeah, he was probably annoyed right before he died. And then this guy has the same fate. Into the village. We've got another fueling right here, and it's a repeat. I basically slash its head off with an executioner's axe. That's glowing. Yeah. So I do a dance in the center of the village, see this totem right here, and decide to destroy it, basically desecrating their altar. Yup, you guys deserved it. Now, what did we find out in this video? I think battle axes are something that take a little bit more effort to learn and get decent at versus other weapons. They're slow, they use a lot of stamina, but they're pretty fun to play with and they do a decent amount of damage. So if that's something you enjoy, give them a good shot. If not, then maybe other weapons are better for you. Thank you so much for watching. If you had fun, let me know, leave a comment, and if you deem me worthy, you can do the whole like and subscribe thing. Anyway, have a wonderful rest of your day.